Welcome, everybody, to the American Space Museum. I'm Mark Marquette, and we're so glad you're with us to stay curious. Here we are celebrating our second anniversary, born out of the pandemic, and 525 shows later, Marty Winkle and I, my cameraman, co-producer of this program, uh, we've got a little celebration for you. We've got some board members here at the American Space Museum that want to celebrate this little milestone for us. We got Trekkie Techie here that's helped us take our program up to the next level. Mm -hmm. But we want to first let you know that we are so proud to be the place uh, in the, the world where we honor the space workers and have for over 21 years with a very unique museum that celebrates the birth of the American Space Age right here in Brevard County, Florida. No other place like it, the only place where on Earth where we've sent human beings to the moon and only one of three places where we've orbited, orbited human beings. So this is the passion and how I got excited about this museum, what they represent, and I'm so proud to represent them. And this extension of Stay Curious started on this date, March 23rd, 2020, when I took my cell phone, put it on a selfie stick, taped that selfie stick to a tripod, and began a program in our Gemini Gallery. And uh, knowing that we did not want our nonprofit to lay down during this pandemic, we wanted people to realize that had contributed money for two decades to our museum, that we were gonna do everything we could to make sure we stayed open through the pandemic. And God bless our board of directors who didn't lay any of us off under the guidance of our, our executive director, Karen Conklin. Uh, we have survived and flourished the last two years because of uh, being proactive and stay curious is just one area where we've been proactive. We've been proactive with children's education too. And, uh, but we thought that this stay curious would go into schools is where it all started. But uh, uh, instead it has reached the space community that is so uh, uh, loyal and, and, and dear to the, all the programs, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and the shuttle era that we celebrate. So wanted to just let you all know, thank you for watching today. We've got Christopher Mick and his daughter in the house here. Marty will be moving the camera around here in just a minute. I wanted to say thank you though to Hyatt Place. We're coming to you from the Hyatt Place studios here at the American Space Museum, where Hyatt Place is gonna be a home away from home for us to do some uh, wonderful events. We're gonna use some other local hotels too. I uh, want to keep everybody happy here, but uh, we are going to do a April 16th. We're going to celebrate the golden anniversary of the dawn of the space shuttle era. April 1972 is when the U.S. Congress approved $5.5 billion to build America's reusable space shuttle space plane, and the world has never been the same since. And so we've got a wonderful event that we're planning. We've, th we've not thrown it together, but with the uncertainty of the pandemic, we couldn't go, you know, do some things outside uh, three, four months ago, plan this. So we've done the best we can, <clears throat> and we will be releasing Friday, again, an updated version of the participants of this golden anniversary of the dawn of the space shuttle era. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a little bit of rocket fuel here, Marty. Marty Winkle, who of course I brag about, was a lunar module lead in electrical engineer looking out them triangular windows of the ascent stage uh, as part of his uh, job. Uh, uh, not looking out the windows is part of your job, Marty, because you were just looking at the concrete walls or sometimes the slaw of, that covered the, uh, the lunar module 345 feet up in the air. So uh, he's one of my heroes, one of my best friends, and also through this program, we've, we've really bonded over this. And Marty's just a thank you for your volunteer work for two years of doing this and navigating the electronics of this has sometimes been a nightmare in the early days, uh, particularly the audio. And then uh, I told Karen Conklin one day, someone's gonna walk in here that's gonna know about all this. I'm just keep praying and praying. And, and Jessica Galloway, that was you. And uh, though it was frustrating a little bit to teach these two old men some new tricks, uh, we have oh, persevered 
And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I got some pictures to, to brag about all of us here. Come on over here. <clears throat> There's my boss, Karen Conklin. Drum roll. Drum roll. Here's Karen and I at an event. And uh, uh, hello, Karen. Hey. She wants, she's kind of the, sh she likes to, uh, uh, me to be all the eye candy, okay, yeah. out there. I stay but, in the back. But you see, uh, you're, uh, anyway, Karen uh, is our executive director for almost three years, about three years almost now. Almost four. Almost four years, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost four. She and I met five years ago, and I moved here because of what this lady, so passionate about this museum, and I got it. There's no other place in the world yeah. where where the where we one. celebrate space workers. Mm -hmm. uh, we love our astronauts, okay? Yes. But it's the space workers who who we really love to honor here. So Karen, I I've said I said this in your office the other day that I I thank you for your confidence in me when we started talking about this because you had no idea what I had in mind. Yeah, I know. Uh, but, but you knew I could pull it off. We've all kind of worked it together. And, and we've, we've worked a, a, a work in progress. <laughs> but uh, tell our loving Stay Curious audience out there from all over the world about Stay Curious and your shower thought. Oh, the, um, well, the, you talked about how we first began. Yes. Where it was out of the pandemic, and uh, we didn't have a thing to call it. Uh, we didn't know what we were really doing. So when I walk into the office and I say, I've taken a shower and I had this thought, everybody's eyes roll because that means more work <laughs> and extra stuff to happen. Closer. Oh, closer, okay. okay. There we go. And uh, I know. Uh, so my shower thought was stay curious, that uh, we want to make sure that the uh, we weren't laying down during the pandemic and that we were going to um, make sure we stayed engaged and we have and it's thanks mostly to you. for our nonprofit supporters too, oh, yes, to let definitely. them know that that they're they were, and uh you don't have when, to lay down yeah when i met karen i told her astronomy was the shiny object that would bring people in the museum and i wanted to be an astronomy program thing here and uh little did i know that my role would enhance you kept telling me when i m m was moving down here that you're coming at a good time you're yep. coming at a good time yep. She picked up a great uh, collections manager, Nick Enix, that has that went from one end like a white it's, tornado it's to one here. end to the other, uh, uh, and uh, you, and then you've got your IT guy Bruce Jacobs, who's here in the yeah. room that, that's yeah. been so important to the whole operation here, and uh, so I was excited to come, and then lo and behold, uh, you know, four years later, we're uh, I'm involved with the the uh, community involvement and leaves you to do all the the tedious things that an executive needs to do and stay curious was born and we had an agreement because we had a strategy we some sizzle and the sizzle was we want every fifth grader to come through our museum that's right. a two hundred fifty thousand dollar project that right. nobody's uh, seized yet why because i already spoke about the uniqueness of brevard county karen and this is your adopted home uh here you grew up here and so forth mm -hmm. that um, uh, weren't you born in, in Tennessee? Miami Beach. Oh, Miami Beach. Okay, all but right. Moved here in But the legacy's like none other, and though we don't, uh, you've struggled as a nonprofit, and now uh, we feel like uh, we're going to be coming from some strength. Right, definitely. There. Well, thanks to your savvy in front of the camera, and uh, thanks to Chuck and his auctions and, and whatnot, the, you help get that word out. So our auctions are increasing and- Chuck are Jeffrey, better. Our, uh, who, who manages our almost quarterly auctions that uh, mm -hmm. has made a big impact. In fact, that's how our, uh, most of our small salaries are paid here. We're grateful for what we get, okay. Mm -hmm. But but uh, we all work real hard. We'd like to clone each other about right now and have two of you and two of me and two yep. of Angie Roberts, our, uh, wonderful, your assistant and our financial manager and Anita Truex. We're mm -hmm. truly blessed to have a lot of people in the museum right. uh, the last few months. And and we've uh, really noticed the Florida people coming, haven't we? The the, the local We local have. Locations. We're, before we were usually uh, tourists and people from out of the county, but <clears throat> we're starting to get more noticed by the people who are in town. Uh, they start bringing their neighbors, or not their neighbors, but their guests that come in and they get hooked. Mm -hmm. So we have memberships uh, are better from people who are local, which is great. 
Uh, Karen, we have it. Marty, why don't you zoom over there to people sitting down and I'll bring our board members. Or, thank you, Jessica. Uh, uh, Christopher <laughs> Mick, uh, your daughter's name again? Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Tyler Mick and Christopher, they're from Hudson, Wisconsin. He's on the show almost every day. Sorry, tell our us, Wi-Fi. Tell our us Wi-Fi what you like different. about it, Christopher. What, what's attracted you to our video podcast all the way in Wisconsin? I thought just what's kind of been said, just your outreach and kind of keeping things connected and people informed and, and uh, what was out there. So it was just, I thought, a great kind of tied in with what I was doing up in Hudson, reaching out to students, keeping people uh, interested, talking about it, finding ways to connect with them. So I thought it was a, a great title for your show and, and uh, just a great thing you're doing every day good and we got uh, bruce jacobs it guru there bruce you have yeah. a wave there thank you for everything he does of course the it guys are uh the unsung heroes he's got t-shirts to prove that yes he does uh <laughs> things like i'm here because you broke something my and, uh, and my collection is growing <laughs> and yeah, jessica's become an it there uh we have stephanie sherby dr sherby there thank you board member all right now kohler Dr. Al Kohler, and there's Jessica in there, all right? Okay, and uh, we're going to go through a memory lane of photos here in a minute, but, you know, I think when, when I was saying that uh, Karen and I came up with a plan, uh, we read a book on nonprofits called Let's Do Lunch, mm-hmm. and that really impacted us, and particularly me, and I said, we got to do it this way, yeah. and uh, like our circle of friends, boy, has that changed, you know, Most in the definitely. last three and a half years. Uh, because really our circle year. of friends now is incredible with uh, you, Mr. Chris Cowley, renowned artist uh, watching us, and the UCAC Jack brothers, brothers, renowned photographers. Uh, we're going to see pictures of Ken Kramer, uh, a, a good uh, photo, a journalist, and Gene Wright uh, that have promoted, uh, the Shuttle So Sister, Gene Wright, that have promoted us. We can't thank them enough for getting the word out there uh, because we really didn't have a clue what we were doing. Right. But I told this young lady, I said, I like throwing spaghetti on the wall, all right? And sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it has sauce on it. Sometimes it even has meat on it, all right? right. But, uh, but you got to throw the spaghetti on the wall as well. And, as well as, and I'm willing to clean up after my messes just uh, to put yourself out there that you got to have ideas. And we look at our wonderful space program, and there are a lot of great ideas like the mole program, Manned mm-hmm. Orbiting Laboratories one. Uh, Vandenberg uh, being a, a base that that didn't work out but still a lot of thought and effort went into mm-hmm. and we have really focused on four or five events now this year that we're going to have two that we're going to bring to you uh, outside of our Stay Curious program and the, the auctions uh, we're going to do two memorabilia shows we've right. got a, a uh, cosmic masquerade ball October. in October 10-22-22 uh, that'll be a big fundraiser and a fun fundraiser. We're going to have this shuttle event every year. We're going to call it Shuttle Fest in April. Uh, so spring the the uh, surprise on that. And we're going to have the Cali Art Awards with Mr. Chris Cali being involved with his father, the late Paul Cali, promoting uh, art here. And it's something right. that you've always wanted to do right. is, is reach out to Art and Space. Art person space. Nicole Stott yeah, she's is wonderful. a great friend of ours. Mm-hmm. So. So, Karen, what do you think? I'm going to bring our board members up here. What would you like to say about our Stay Curious uh, program and our wonderful people that have made it? I haven't made it happen. The, the people out there watching have made it happen. Right. If people aren't watching it, then, then, there's uh, no show. then I just bore you to death with my with your quirky spaghetti space spaghetti on the wall. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, what do I think? I think this has been um, a godsend through this pandemic, and I think, and I thank you for taking the lead and for being such a spectacular front guy for this show. It's, uh, you've hosted wonderfully. And Marty is here Thank every you. day, bless his heart. And uh, he sits back there and, and pushes all the right he's buttons. Real, he's real quiet. He's real quiet. And, uh, but Jessica. he's got looks that speak, and I'm going to show you one of his looks here yeah, in one of our slides. Some of his looks yes, could he's kill. He's got looks that say, <laughs> Mark. That's the wrong acronym. That's right. And, and uh, Jessica, this, and our, uh, we were cell phones uh, running around shooting Mark <laughs> with a cell phone. Yeah, the audio is the big deal. That, that, right. and, and the new computer, and we really right. will. We'll, uh, but, well, but, Jessica uh, came on board. Drop that uh, oral histories 
and uh, Marie Louise G. West. Yep, we, oh. we thank the Marie Louise G. West Endowment. There, our banner on the bottom that right. we got a five thousand dollar endowment. And without that, we could not have bought this big computer. It's actually a gaming computer to handle uh, three simultaneous, no, four simultaneous platforms we're broadcasting to. Right. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, Spotify, and of course, Facebook. Whatever you want to say about Facebook, uh, we're indebted to them for, for keeping us open here, mm -hmm. really. And, and uh, uh, very little problems. We've had our share of problems, but my gosh, in today's te technical world, it's amazing. And you people have liked, shared, followed, and subscribed to our to us. Uh, Bruce is always Bruce has taken our uh, YouTube channel to new heights, mm -hmm. uh, and he was patiently waiting for our product to get a little bit better. And I was in agreement with him until we got that first year we weren't YouTube worthy really. Uh, with Marty and I printing out stuff and putting Hold it on a, a easel and. And, I came in uh, to all upgrade that. you guys. And That's Jessica right. saved the day with the upgrades, but, yes. uh, but Bruce, uh, invaluable, and, and our uh, YouTube channel rocks. And there's there's more stuff up there than just uh, Facebook uh, or Stay Curious. There's uh, other oral histories. There's some events that you've been a part of way before I came here. A great uh, talk by uh, 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 Mr. Fred okay. Hayes. Is on there. What do you got to say about that? Uh, well, I was going to say we've also got some uh, unique historic uh, NASA videos that we had captured from film. Right. Yeah. You trying to get on this? What? You trying to get on the camera? Yeah. Well, there? we're going to get uh, we're going to get our two board members over here with Karen. Oh. You sit uh, still there, Karen. Well, I can sit off on the side. Okay, a, you sit off on the you side. We'll a bring YouTube comment on uh, somebody loving your Saturn cup. Oh, good. <laughs> your rocket fuel. There, that's we'll right. Yeah, and uh, Marty spiked it really good for our second anniversary here. Oh, yeah. Only the finest. <laughs> Here's uh, Dr. Stephanie Sherby. Have a seat here. And Dr. Al Kohler. Uh, Dr. Sherby. Uh, invisible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're so sitting down. It's good. That's uh, good. Uh, oh, yeah, the green. Uh, tell our State Curious uh, audience uh, who you work for and why you become a new board member. Well, actually, I do. I work for uh, All Points. It's a local company here in Brevard County, but we're nationwide. And it's such a perfect fit for this particular museum because All Points provides so many workers, historically as well as currently, at Marshall Johnson Kennedy. And it, so we, that's who we are. We're the workers behind the astronauts. Software development, engineering, um, you know, we're on the Orion program, for example. So it's a great fit. And so we now have uh, two board members, myself and uh, Steve Lloyd, who actually serves as our secretary for the board. Right. And loving being a part of this mission that um, as, a, as I wanted to uh, really focus on the three of you. You know, that's why we, I choose to be here and Steve choices, chooses to be here as well as the rest of them. But the Stay Curious program reaches out here in our county um, we've got great plans, as you were just talking about, to expand into our county even deeper or potentially even across the nation through uh, fifth grades. Um, but there's a uh, space enthusiast level everywhere. And what you've really enabled is to help space enthusiasts really understand not just what we do here historically, but how it's going to link to what we do in the future. And that's I what I love the most is that you're really going – uh, and focusing on that fifth grade in, or area mm -hmm. of that grade and saying, hey, you're the future. Here's the history. This is where we were and how we're, and what we're doing, like our anniversary coming up of the shuttle. But also this is the roots of why we're going to do what we do next. And I really respect that. And so on behalf of the board, up first, and then back to Kohler, um, we really just wanted to say, give you a small token of thank you to you and Marty and to Jessica to say just thank you so much because yes, there's always a stipend, but your volunteer level, your passion and enthusiasm for this program, Stay Curious, has legs long behind, long beyond what you may know. So thank you so much. Well, you're welcome, thank you. It's really an honor and, and uh, well said what, what you said there because that's what uh, Karen Conklin's all about is igniting the future generation, uh, not with a bunch of old dusty artifacts, but these are, are things that, that live in our cases and, and live among, uh, like our consoles and yes. so forth. So uh, 
Well, thank you very much. Sarah. So as a new board member, yes. I'm going to hand it over to one of our long-term board members. That's right. Dr. <laughs> Al Kohler, K-O-L-L-E-R, uh, was in the launch room of Alan Shepard. You weren't an explorer, were you? I was not. You weren't explorer one, but you were involved with Alan Shepard's launch? Not directly, but yeah. indirectly, yes. Okay. You were on the grounds. You yes, had a badge. You got it. I you had, had a badge. I had a okay. job. That's you had a <laughs> job. <laughs> he was a kid, for gosh <laughs> sakes. Okay. What am I talking side, about? Yeah. No, Dr. Kohler's one of the people that have, have uh, uh, welcomed me uh, and expanded my role here as a mentor, and and uh, I'm really blessed uh, to, to know people. This is a, a, a true national treasure with the things that he was involved in. And uh, Dr. Kohler's done so much for this museum, uh, 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 not just as a board member, but uh, behind the scenes too. So uh, thank you, Dr. Kohler. Well, hey, it's a great pleasure to be here today to just talk a little bit about uh, Stay Curious and uh, Mark Marquette, who has carried a big, big load through the COVID two years and really kind of brought this museum to the world. It's been a tremendous outreach and I couldn't agree more that it's more than just the past. The past is what we have built upon and that's why it's important to go back and stay in touch with what our roots are and where we came from. It's equally important to know what's going on in the present and we do that through this program as well as through Space View Park and uh, the town fills up with visitors when we have a launch and boy we've had one week so far this year we're doing great and I hope we continue to there were 200 people out there at 1230 the other night okay <laughs> yeah. uh, it's amazing but it's yeah. it, it has ignited uh, and that's no pun uh, a real flame in terms of intense interest in what happens next and so we're looking to the future and uh, more than two years ago more like three or four Karen opened the door on education and we're looking to reach out to the youth in this country to do the STEM work so that people understand the importance of science and technology and engineering and so on. And uh, this is the key, I think, to where we take our next step as a museum. We, we grow beyond what we, what we were just focused on the past not so long ago. Uh, one of the things I'd like to present to you, Marty, uh, today is a book on uh, the space program, History. Well, thank you. And I'll, I'll just take one minute to tell you that my father started the focus on that book by um, developing a map that uh, has come alive here in the museum. And uh, the original is still here at the museum. We're going to see some pictures of that. Uh, yeah, here in a this is my, uh, I got yours. a picture of Marty in front of it. That, in fact. Well, that's yours to keep. And, Thank uh, you, sir. And I will tell you that if you're listening and you have a pencil in hand, um, if you want a digital version, you can have one for free. Go to exploringspace.info and get yourself a free copy of a book of the 60 years of space history uh, up until not very long ago. Uh, Yes, you've got quite a, a uh, it's quite a easy capsulization there, and you can get this digitally there. So now I have another we'll, we'll little gift for you. All it's right. the latest journal from the National Space Society, and if you're not a member, I would like to say that I will make you a member this year and pay for your year, one year at least. Membership. Well, I'm not. Thank you very much. Uh, Ad Astra is where. Uh, uh, Mark Usiak was here. Uh, Marty, that's the publication that Mark Usiak was uh, is uh, freelancing. It's a terrific, for, so, uh, terrific. Yes, it is. I've, I've had it over the years, but uh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Uh, and last but not least, one more. Okay. A little gift card that you, you you're Mr. Technology from my standpoint. What you've done is taken the artifacts and brought them alive through space, Stay mm. Curious. You really have Very brought well them alive to a lot of people who otherwise would never know. So this is to add to your technology collection, and you do it anything you want with that Okay. One. Well, thank you, sir. You are most thank, welcome. Thank you very much. And just keep up the good work, my friend. We, uh, <coughs> we congratulate you on 500-plus of yeah. these programs, and I wish you many, many more to come. Yes. Well, thank you very much, sir. You've, been, you've certainly been a, a, a wonderful person in uh, our museum here, and your support means the world to me, and you've introduced me to so many wonderful great people like the late Ike Rigel and Ken's yeah. wife Catherine yeah. and uh, they have uh, uh, 
a lot of people have uh, put up with me and accepted me because of people like you in my corner. Well, you've done a great job. We, uh, we, were, we so, were just saying, well, we're, both of us have worked more than 30 years in the program, this program kind of thing, and surrounded <clears throat> by the very best that the world has to offer the space program. How could you do bad with that? That's right. Background? It was great. Well, I'm blessed that <clears throat> at uh, early retirement years to put my, my life's talents together in one place uh, because many of you know, I, I since I was eight years old, I've had a telescope and I've been crazy about astron astronauts. And uh, 60 years later, there's only one thing that's changed. There's still astronauts, there's still telescopes but there's always girls <laughs> and about in 60 years that's about the only thing that's changed in my life that I, that I pay attention to okay in there and uh and uh, some girls don't like how passionate I am about this museum I don't but, know you got a but, real nice telescope I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay <laughs> anyway what well, means a lot I I have uh uh, it's uh, you know I'm a I'm a, a spiritual man and and I, this is I'm doing something that I've meant to do and you and I Alf talked about it and I I believe truly I'm I'm here for a reason and uh, uh, it's just to help Karen and Nick and and our great little crew here to uh, make a difference because what what I want to see happen well, I won't see it happen but you see a civil war item in a case anywhere. Uh, Dr. Sherby, and it's 160 years old. Well, we've got 60-year-old items here in this museum, and I want to make sure in 100 years that they're still igniting the future generation with that. And they don't exist anywhere else. No, no they don't. Where it they, where it's they, at. don't. they don't. You've been involved with here how many years, Dr. Kohler? 62. 62? Yeah. All right. How many years have you supported the museum since its beginning, pretty right? Much, pretty much since its inception. Yeah. Well, my father led the way on that. Right. And he was here every day, loved every minute of it. Speak, speak of to our State Curious listeners, really, our Space View Park is a true Taj Mahal mm -hmm. or Roman Coliseum. There's nowhere like it in the world. No. Where you really can put not. your handprints on 30-some astronauts. I was over there today and put mine on John Young's mm -hmm. and saw our bust of Gus Grissom because 57 years ago, they completed the maiden voyage of, of Gemini. Yeah. on this date and what well and maybe what's really important is the focus on all the people who work the program yeah the names of everyone's of on the walls the there so, yeah and uh, yeah. so the monuments really come to the fore and uh, we care about the people and mm -hmm. we recognize that that's what makes it all go yeah the technology is required and then the more the better but none of it works without the right people in place and it's been a tremendous team that we've been able to work with and you have really strengthened the team here at the museum. Well, thank you. It's been my pleasure. When he talks about the names, people paid a hundred bucks to put their names on a brick at the at the Mercury monuments. Then uh, they paid a hundred bucks to have their name etched on marble. There, I was out there today. I'm going to post a picture this evening of the uh, Titan side of it. Uh, and then they they built uh, pylons that the three sided pylons that uh, the names of uh, First, the Apollo workers, and then shuttle workers are out there. Yeah. And, you know, uh, many of us worked in other areas. I ha actually drew a paycheck for a few years from Newsweek magazine, and I would love for them to say, Mark, give us 100 bucks, and we'll put your name on Madison Avenue on the wall up there. I'd g jump on that in a heartbeat. But that's exactly what this is, 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 is you uh, an homage there. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Bruce. Yeah, I was going to say we also have the online, the Space Worker Hall of Honor. Yes. Mm -hmm. The digital version. All right. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, yes, it's Space Worker Hall of Honor. Thank you. And we're going to start promoting that more this year. Remind yeah, me that. That's like you get that on there. We thank Mark Usiak for watching. Here's his, uh, we hope to see, can't wait to see your pictures in this magazine that I'm going to be getting here. Thank you, Dr. Kohler. Uh, Dave uh, Stangy is watching us in Michigan. Hello, Jean Wright. Stay tuned. Jean Wright, the so sister. I've got a few pictures of her coming up. Uh, Dan Dumart. Uh, Larry Pushkar. Larry was over here a couple weeks ago and saw us personally. Uh, uh, just like uh, uh, you over there. Uh, Ophelia Sauterall. She's in Normandy, France, mm -hmm. watching us. Nancy uh, Schnosselnagel. 
You had to give me a name like that, Marty. Hey. Nancy Schnosselnagel. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Jeffrey Clausen, thank you for watching. Dean Babcock, Cynthia Rossi, Space Resources. And hello, Jesse Marquette, my daughter. I hope my little McKinley's right there staying curious with Grandpa. Yeah, so. Jesse says that Daddy and I have our names on the moon, on Mars. Yes, we do have our names on Mars, by the way, uh, on Can those I, spacecraft landing there. Gene wants to put Marty on camera. Should I? Gene, yeah, no, I'm going. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Come on, Marty. Okay, there, there's pictures, Gene. Just, we'll, we'll get to them. Yeah, we got some pictures of him there, but uh, thank you all in there. So, and, and this is, you know, amazing. We've got uh, uh, enjoying his cocktail right now is Robert Law in Dundee, Scotland. And Dean Sawswizzle, uh, Sawswiddle was in uh, uh, New Zealand having brekkie there. I know uh, uh, oh, uh, my buddy in uh, Panoma, Australia. Um, oh, his name escapes me. He'll probably say hi to us here in a minute. But this is what's amazing that we can reach out to these mm -hmm. people. We talked to the Eurocom of, 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 the, of the European Space Agency, the Capcom, uh, uh, Eric Car or Carl. Uh, talk to him, and that's the, that's the furthest that we communicate with anybody. He was in Cologne, Germany, and we did a uh, Google Meets with him. Oh, that's great. There, yeah, yeah. Carl is his last name. Is it Eric? Uh, Eric. Yeah, Eric Carl. And we're gonna get him back on and find out what's going on up there. So, uh, you all can sit there if you want. I appreciate uh, uh, any other final comments before we go back in time with the little slideshow. Your comments you just made in the last few minutes just really demonstrate leadership, but a collaborative way to lead across the globe, really. And mm -hmm. that's so exciting that it's coming from this amazing museum that's rooted in history. It's really great. Well, thank you. Thank you. And, and uh, I need support from you all to uh, you know keep doing what we're doing. By the way, our Stay Curious logo behind here, we're trademarking it, which is a cool thing that the Very board cool wants thing. to do. We're going to mm -hmm. trademark the American Space Museum also. So, uh, and, and why not? Uh, Karen's shower thought trademark there. All right, uh, that and that and a bottle of Prell will get her a clean hairdo. All right, <laughs> who uses Prell? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway, sit sit no, there. Where no, you I'm guys need to go? No, no, no. We're okay. gonna watch from the side. All right. Well, thank, thank you all you. very much. Thank, thank you, you Dr. Kohler. My pleasure. Well, thank you. And and Marty is as big of part of this as anything. Uh, we all need a little. Uh, uh, and here's here was our one of our first, our stay curious old logo, that I would bring this up and say, we need bushel baskets full of these folks, <laughs> and we still do. All right, hundred dollar bills. We are a nonprofit, and uh, uh, the things that we're going to use your money for and have uh, aren't frivolous things. They're uh, uh, our steam education is a big deal, but we need a new carpet here in our museum. Uh, we've got a laundry list. Actually, our displays, as as as, as nice as they look, look, uh, Christopher Mick. Um, I think most of them were jewelry store retail cases at one time. All right, uh, and uh, we get by with what, what we got to, like all nonprofits do. But Marty, we got anything we want to comment? How about you have a comment before I go down memory lane here? Well, not really, except other than McKinley's with her daddy. Her mama is working. Mama's at work. Oh. But she's with her dad. Oh, okay, good. All right. Uh, well, right. oh, my daughter's a sous chef at a nice restaurant, so cook up a good meal there, daughter. Um, Why is she coming? But Marty... Yeah, uh, get say, back to work. <laughs> I got to my, Marty, say something about you being involved with this. You've been involved in a lot of things. Give Can you believe that this has lasted... And that you and I are still friends for two years. You know, I just like correcting <laughs> you. That's why I'm here. That's it. He's got to make sure you stay on point with those acronyms, Mom. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all. There's Karen and I. Uh, that was a fun outreach we did with a bunch of uh, tourist industry people, I believe, Karen, on there. We take Neil and Sally with us at these events, and uh, that's our little mini-me astronaut there. That was at the Port Canaveral uh, a couple years ago. There's Marty and I talking to one of my favorite interviews. We'll talk a few things. Some of these pictures are to stimulate my memory as well as thank a lot of people that have took us this far. Uh, but Lowell Grissom, uh, what can you say about him? 
What a great guy. He comes here every year the week of his brother's death, uh, January 27th. And uh, such a wonderful guy and represents his, his, his brother and uh, was happy to come on Stay Curious this year. There's Marty and I doing our photo shoot there for uh, publicity, photo op there. Um, and there's our godfather on the right, uh, Charlie Mars and Lee Solid, uh, a, a photo that I took of them when we had a National Geographic guy here. And thank you, Mr. Charlie Mars, for uh, also believing in me uh, most of the time <laughs> in there. But uh, and Lee Solid also uh, have been mentoring me at this museum. And uh, uh, both uh, Charlie, very involved with NASA as a manager with the Apollo program and the Apollo astronauts. Lee Solid, simply the rocket guy. All the engines on the Saturn V rocket in the, in the space shuttle main engines, he has something to do with. Uh, thank you, Bob Seek. Uh, Bob has been on our show several times, and uh, I can call him up and do some fact checking on there. Uh, and, uh, and also, uh, John Tribe. John Tribe, hello, John. I know you're watching with your wife. Thank you so much for all you do for the museum, also. And, uh, Part, his wife's no, Melissa. Melissa. Yep, the uh, Melissa tribe. Uh, they're and uh, uh, he's he's done a lot here at our museum, and want to give them a shout out to supporting me. There's Marty, uh, back in our old school days, moving around on the cart there, the old cart. We still have uh, it. Right? We still have it. <laughs> <clears throat> There's the look that says Mark. You got the acronym wrong, or you said Kennedy Space Center and it's Cape Canaveral. When are you going to learn acronym. the difference? All right, in there. But love you, Marty. He's the, he's the big brother I never had. We've, we've really had a, a good time with this. Ken Kramer, Dr. Kramer, thank you for all that you've done with our show. Ken, uh, a Mars expert, launch photographer, and also a chemist that kept us on top of the COVID pandemic in the early days of it with a lot of uncertainty. Appreciate Ken uh, being on our show. We'll get him back on here uh, soon there. But uh, again, the old school way we did things, pictures that we put up there, props, and we've got our COVID screen there, okay? We had a barrier between uh, my guests and I so that we could be uh, at least a semblance of optically correct uh, that we were trying to do with the pandemic. Uh, there's Gene Wright. Thank you, Gene. That is the great event we had with Nicole Stott there in the background. Nicole and I in the green screen. And uh, uh, there's Marty in the back there. Thank you, Gene. has done a lot to bring us guests as well as a few astronauts here. Uh, that is, uh, uh, oh, who's to the right there? In the, um, um, hmm. I Oh, it's the back of people's yeah. heads. I can't tell. And this is us a year ago where we celebrated. All right, a year ago, there's uh, Ken on the left there, Anita Truex, our office manager, and uh, deals with the Harvest Host people and uh, keeps our. We've done a, We've had a great year of uh, merchandising thanks to Anita. Some good stuff in there. She keeps it fresh. And there, there's Jean and Triple T. All right, and Angie's in the back behind my head back there. Angie's. Back there, our, our uh, finance director, and she has a lot to do with the auction. If you bought things in the auction, you talk to Angie on the phone. Uh, Triple T's uh, uh, selling Harley Davidsons right now. So, uh, but thank you, Gene and Ken, for showing up last year at our anniversary. They had a press conference going on today. And yes, I took my camera outside and did some star ID uh, until I realized that was a little bit overboard okay but there's the crescent moon and venus and a telescope and i actually tried to do a few little uh telescope 101s yeah, I think telescope and then our world changed with jessica oh. galloway and hey. our uh uh, uh is this, is this sure? a, a millennial that uh, uh took us to new levels i mean she seriously knew her stuff i met her at the chamber of commerce and I knew right away I wanted to draw her and attract her to our museum. And not only you, but your husband, Troy, uh, also a big supporter of us. And they always have great ideas for me and, and them. And she's like me and uh, just caught on fire uh, with our museum here. 
and now she understands a little bit about nonprofits that it's like, easy does it. We got to pump the brakes because things don't happen like they do in the real world. And I know, uh, but we we love you, what you've done. And just not helped us with Stay Curious. Uh, she's helped Karen a lot with some of the projects that needed attention in our social media world and worked beautifully with uh, Bruce, at least uh, in all appearances, you guys get along good <laughs> on there. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, two IT people, and and uh, 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 I don't have to pretend I know anything about that anymore. <laughs> okay. It's um, removed from your brain. We got it. But there's Marty and Jesse working up uh, our script and stuff there. There's our Expedition 66 crew there, by the way, that's going to start swapping out. Uh, Marty learned how to do it by himself. I can't believe I can believe it because I cannot go over there and do Stay Curious by myself anymore, and that allows me to focus on content in our shows like uh, the Shuttles of the of the month. Uh, there's Ken. There's the Usiak brothers. Uh, uh, well, that is Mark Usiak with the beard. That is Tim Gagnon in the middle. Hello, Tim. Another great supporter of us, uh, Michael. Haddad, thank you, Mikey, for watching. You're going to hear about Michael. Had, Mikey Haddad uh, has written a book about payloads, and he and I are working up payloads with Mikey as part of a regular feature of uh, Stay Curious. Uh, Pam Shivik, thank you, Pam. She is a Buckeye from Lorraine, Ohio. She and her husband, and she is part of the outreach for the uh, uh, um, Association of Lunar and Planetary Observers. Alex Newman, uh, and he may be here next month. All right, Alex, from Germany. Very good. Uh, there's a launch he's probably coming to, all right? So uh, we hope that uh, 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 our Alex comes here also. So thank you all for watching. Uh, that's Tim Gagnon in the middle, uh, Gene and uh, right, Ken on the end there. Tom Usiak is the other one uh, there uh, on the right, and Tom's got... We have him slated April 4th to talk about the labs at we NASA. Both of them? And, and we've got both of them double wow. teamed. Mark is back already, by the way. Uh, uh, and uh, there's Dr. Kohler with his Lieutenant Fuzz hat underneath there, just done a talk. And uh, with Lee Solid. And I threw that one in there because. Um, um, Yes, we were in the building with the masks and so forth. And then Lee came in. Uh, he's, of course, of a rocket dyne rocket engineer. And uh, I'll show you another picture of Lee. There's Dean Schaff. Dean is going to talk about the transoceanic uh, abort sites at our 50th golden anniversary of the shuttle. Again, showing off that we did have a barrier there. At least while the camera was on, what good does a barrier do <laughs> after the camera there? Okay. <laughs> But Lee and I agreed that the barrier was just uh, uh, in case anybody really you know, got mad at us. Yes, Marty? Alex Newman is a woman. It's oh, a Alex, woman. Uh, uh, Alex Newman is a woman. Okay, great. That's from Gene Wright. All right. That's from Gene Wright? Oh, okay, thank Gene, you, Gene. Must Gene be a friend Gene. of Gene's. So we'll have her come in here. Gene's going to do a talk at our shuttle event also about the thermal protection system. And uh, shockingly, you don't see a fuselage when you go see the orbiters in the museums. They're covered in blankets. And Jean will tell you all about that. She's been on the show. There's a bearded Lee Solid with his two grandsons, John Luke on the left and Silas on the right, who have been spending the last five years of their life doing a documentary on Apollo that uh, I'm sure will be fabulous. And uh, they love their papa, or papa is what they call him, actually. And uh, Lee's going to be at our event there, and we'll get Lee on some more shows there. Chief Lau, we had the, the chief uh, of police here with Amy Matthews, okay, his assistant, and one of our Stay Curious masks that were quite popular that Karen had made. And uh, uh, a lot of you people still have your Stay Curious masks there. But, uh, I, I found like three so, in the laundry this weekend. You did? I did. I did. Any of the black ones with the color, blue color on? That's no, the. I don't know. So I threw this in to get get uh, get the parking ticket taken care of there, Chief. But uh, uh, shout no, out. Th thank you, and really thank you for getting rid of the homeless people at our Space View Park that was becoming a major problem this summer. What can you say about Mike McCulley? Uh, 
the always smiling astronaut there that came and gave us a great talk. I was very proud of a question that I asked Mike McCauley that kind of took him uh, by surprise. I said, Mike, because he was an astronaut pilot on the Galileo STS-34 mission. And, but more importantly, Mike is a loved and revered leader of United Space Alliance. He was the president in the coup. He likes saying that, the ch chief operating officer. Uh, and during the last uh, 11 or 12 years of the shuttle. And um, I said, Mike, with all that experience in management, were you ever considered to be the Kennedy Space Center director? And he kind of like, ooh, well, like, uh, no one's ever asked me that. But uh, that was my uh, uh, Dan Rather moment, I guess, okay. And uh, he said, by the way, yes. He said, Dan Golden took me out to uh, dinner in Washington, D.C., and I quickly realized it was an interview for the KSC job. And he says, I really didn't want to go that deep into the politics. And uh, thank you very much. So he and his wife, Jane, have been raising Shih Tzu dogs ever since there. But thank you. Uh, he and Mr. Winston Scott, who I don't have a picture of here, Karen, they have been really embraced our museum. Uh, these two astronauts uh, love our museum and have done a lot for Karen in the past and, and are doing things for us now. Thank you. We had uh, the heartache of trying to do Zoom with uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Fredo, Fred Hayes, was our first one around July 4th of the pandemic. And then we did one with Nicole Stott. And I say heartache because they were we always went down to the last minute of pushing the wrong buttons or whatever and and uh, thanks to Jessica and the new technology we were able to reach out more but Nicole uh, thank you for loving our museum and supporting us and she'll be involved more in the future and what can you say about Joanne Morgan having Joanne on the show and she supports our museum uh, not only uh, with her doing things for us but also financially Susie Cunningham uh, in NASA management her mentor uh, it was uh, here we talked to Joanne was in Montana I think and we had Susie here in Kennedy Space Center and that was one that was uh, hard in throat uh, and then we had Mr. Jay Honeycutt uh, wants to be involved uh, with our museum more thank you sir and uh, he and his wife watch our show very frequently he's putting together the congressional history for me of the 50th anniversary of that uh, Nixon Congress, how they approved the, the shuttle. And it was by a, like a two to, to a two to one margin. It went through uh, pretty big. But thank you, Jay. Ellen Brown, all right, friend of Marty's at the Space Center when he worked on the, the launch process services. Ellen, thank you for staying curious with us. She uh, not only uh, had a great interview herself, but she led us to Randall Clay there, which uh, Marty, he would, he would beat you in basketball, I would say. <laughs> but I'll bet you could do more push-ups than him. Run him around the block. We enjoyed Randall inspiring everybody to be ready when your turn comes up, okay? Uh, just like in sports, be ready when your number's called. He is very much about being ready in management when, when that seat opens up for you uh, and the diversity uh, of that, of course. Um, Okay, I bounced out of that. And because of our, their appearances, we were in Tosh Times, the newsletter of uh, the space industry out there. Uh, Tosh, uh, Terminal, oh man, I used to have that down. Tosh is the I don't know that acronym. Terminal Operation Systems. Oh, gee. Dr. Sherby, you know what Tosh stands for? That's the main contract that everybody's under uh, out there. Uh, Andy Allen's under that astronaut with his uh, business. Uh, also, as I'm, I'm bragging. Test operations and support contract. Test operations and support contract, yes. <laughs> but we made the Tosh Times, Marty, there with, with those two, and, and we appreciate that. And, of course, Andy Allen has supported our museum. I don't think I have a picture of Andy in here. I can't put everybody in there, but there they brag about our live interviews, and we love them for that. Uh, when I We got out of Andy Allen that his Top Gun nickname was Slick, and not like you would think about him maybe being slick with the ladies. No, slick he left an oil slick in the swimming pool when he jumped in 
with a bunch of his F-15 hot top gun buddies after he combed his hair and put oil in it. He jumped in the, the pool. He, he told us this, and they called his nickname is Slick. He was also pretty slick with um, smuggling contraband onto the rocket. Right, he was. <laughs> he told us about being slick with contraband. Uh, Trekkie Techie says he taped jewelry to his body because he had so many nieces and 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 uh, aunts uh, that wanted stuff going to space that uh, he he did that. Uh, Lauren Shriver, the commander, told him to do that. We had a great event with Mike uh, Leinbach and Jonathan Ward, the fabulous book bringing Columbia home. Of course, Mike launched over 30 shuttles, uh, and uh, thank you, Mike, for supporting our museum. And uh, uh, he's a real behind-the-scenes guy. I'm getting to know uh, uh, about Mike. Uh, Leinbach and the good things he does for people and, and doesn't like being found out about it, I think. Uh, but that was a fabulous event we had here. Marty, there you are with Thad Altman uh, of the Astronauts Memorial Foundation. We did a program with Thad. This was the old school way. Okay, get uh, Mark set up some sort of background and plexiglass, and, uh, plexiglass and get the camera going and then hope the audio is okay. There's the Kohler uh, uh, tribute uh, that their, their father and son did this mechanical. That's John Chioma, by the way. Shout out to John Chioma, worked on the Apollo program. Marty, that was a great interview you got with us. See, I got plenty of Marty in here for you all in there. See, Marty's in the pictures. <laughs> but this was a mechanical example of Kenny Space Center that had Heath Kit, it had uh, Radio Shack components, it had motors from. Uh, yeah. windshield wipers, right, Dr. Kohler? And he wired that all together with his father, and there was a big video. This thing was about a quarter mile long. <laughs> Not that long, but I've seen pictures of it. 20 by 40. 20 feet by 40 feet. And as you saw videotape, the pads would roll over from the Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge to show you what the, what the pads were there. And there is a, I think we do have that on, on YouTube, don't we? We have that on YouTube. We also have Backyard Astronomy is now a section on YouTube that I asked Bruce to, to separate out there since our Backyard Astronomy on Mondays and Stay Curious with Triple T's White Room Tales on Friday have become something. So, And there's Lowell Grissom, brother of uh, Gus Grissom. And, our, and that is the blue suit that Gus Grissom wore after Gemini 3 57 years ago. He was probably wearing that right now after the successful three orbits with him and John Young. Got to say hello to Ozzy Osband. Rocket Hobo. Rocket Hobo, self-proclaimed Rocket Hobo as we're reaching the end here. Thank you all for staying curious for this hour as, we, uh, as I'm able to uh, thank and acknowledge the people that have brought us here for two years. Ozzy, uh, uh, we've gone out there and tried to do a few remotes, but the reception's horrible out there. But... Go out there to Space View Park, and Ozzy will give you the countdown. Won't always be accurate, right, Marty? But he'll at least do a, a ten. Uh, he'll he'll give us a, t a countdown. And Triple T, Travis Todd Thompson. What can we say about this man? They put astronauts in their spacecraft, and he's willing to tell about some of those stories. All right. Sit but, down, strap in. And shut up. Yep. <laughs> Sit down, strap in, and shut up. Thank you. We're going to make a T-shirt. Uh, we are going to make a T-shirt about that. As soon as you design it, uh, okay, of nice. all the things that you've got on your plate, uh, like me. But uh, he enhanced our program by willing to share every week on Fridays uh, his job. He just wasn't involved with the White Room and, and uh, the Orbiter. It was keeping them alive if there was some... Uh, uh, emergency, as well as a lot of other things. So we'll have a good sh good show with Triple T on Friday. Uh, there is uh, uh, Carl. It's not Eric. It's not uh, Eric Carl. It's um, pardon me if I got your first name, but this is our Euro. What? That's the museum guy, right? No, that's the Eurocom. No, that's the Eurocom guy, right? In in Europe, yeah. Last name Carl, uh, not Eric, but maybe it is. But anyway, we'll have him back. And there is Hugh Harris, all right? Thank you, Hugh Harris, 89 years old, wanting to stay curious with us once a month. Uh, he's enjoying it. And this is where we have taken our program, Marty, uh, uh, with sponsorship from the Hyatt Place and others to come where we have people that want to uh, 
uh, uh, that want to uh, be with us every every week. And and uh, the Constellation sponsors, we're going to kind of, we were talking about that today. We want to resurrect our galaxy of giving and you celebrating that by us creating a Constellation. And uh, we, we're, we're not sure uh, when the t right time is. Do you want on, to show them? Uh, you can show them, yes. Still it's, you, we still got yeah. queued up here, our, yeah. our Galaxy of Giving, uh, to donate, uh, take you, uh, uh, your logo here to help support us financially. We've raised over $12,000, okay, by creating a star with your name on it. Uh, there's the, uh, and uh, various people have given us money throughout the year for that and trying to create a new constellation has been a little bit of an uphill battle so yes, we'll need your right. help to do that so we'll plant that seed again thank you jessica on there Let's so over to you guys. let me get a little more rocket fuel i did want to give a special thanks to nick enix our collection manager who's uh willing uh to show uh get in the cases occasionally give me objects to show we don't like handling our museum objects on there. We've got to also acknowledge Computers for Education that gave us the first computer to, to launch this thing and, fr and freebie, huh? We got a Computers advancing yeah. education. Uh, they they gave us a yeah they gave us a big fast computer to do things in the beginning. After uh, my boss hemmed and hawed about a sixty dollar little part I'm looking at the on the leg of the. Uh, uh, still putting in the work. <laughs> that's still putting in the work that we needed that to connect our set of cameras, our nice Sony HD cameras, to a computer and get off of my my uh, my. I said, Karen, either I keep doing it with my cell phone, yeah, or we we do something. And uh, and at a nonprofit, that was a big sixty bucks to to fork out at the time. So uh, we're grateful for that. Uh, we have talked to uh, about seven astronauts. Uh, I didn't. Oh man, I didn't have Bart's picture in there. I did have Bart Martindale in there to thank Bart for doing, uh, uh, he did uh, astronaut uh, Ron Guerin and uh, astronaut uh, uh, Gregory uh, on, with Marty on location there. Uh, what's Mr. Gregory's first name? Fred. Fred. Fred Gregory. Fred Gregory on there. Thank you, Bart, for pinch hitting for me on there. Uh, we've had several photographers on here. We've had business leaders on here throughout the community. Uh, uh, to talk about how the new, the new Rocket Renaissance has impacted their their uh, business, and uh, uh, so that's the laundry list I've got there. Yep, I think I've got everything. Marty, what have you got? Marty. What do you have? I, my Appalachia. Your uh, Appalachia showing. Yes, it is. Travis took my vote of a guy I'd like to have a beer with. Travis has our vote for the. Travis. Dave Stangy. Dave Stangy. Yeah. Travis took my vote of the guy I'd like to have a beer with. Okay. He gets his vote as the guy, Travis. Travis gets his vote as the guy he'd he have, to have a beer with. Oh, have a beer with. Okay, yeah. beer with. All right. <laughs> and I will get my hearing checked, Marty. It's on the list of senior wellness check there, okay? <laughs> Uh, but I loved every note of that rock and roll I blasted in my ears uh, for all that time. Part of that going to be a, 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 little, a little chat feed for you. Yes, right. <laughs> well, we, we have found that, that we've taken this like a TV show. I could use a, an earpiece and someone talking to me occasionally and all that. It's amazing. And it's amazing because you have loved it out there and supported us. And so keep doing it, folks, because... Uh, like uh, Dr. Sherby and Dr. Kohler have said how important this is to our outreach. And it's just not me. I enjoy doing this. It's a lot of hard work to come up with a show every day almost, five days a week. A lot of video podcasts are once a week. And uh, uh, I feel like space history deserves that, okay? Every day is a monumental day in space history where we have human beings orbiting the Earth and I'm trying to find one day in, in, on the calendar where we don't have anybody have on Earth, but well, it'll never happen since we've got 21 years of continuously occupying the space station. So thank you all for what you've done to uh, acknowledge our little program here. Uh, uh, Dr. Sherby, tell the board how much we appreciate it. And Dr. Kohler, thank you for your, uh, your support as a, uh, personally also. It means a lot to me. I moved here five years ago and literally knew one person and that was the woman I chased down here, okay? <laughs> that woman 
God bless you. You're not in my life right now, but that's what you were in my life for, I, I strongly feel. And uh, as so many things in our life. But to not know anybody and now know all these wonderful people that are preserving the space age uh, and, and, and part of the space age is I am a truly blessed person. And, uh, and I just wanted to acknowledge that. So, well, we'll do it again tomorrow. All right. We'll have some space history, some shuttle launches. Uh, for, uh, we'll have a few birthdays. Uh, there's a couple birthdays today I didn't get to that we'll get to tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you all for helping us celebrate two years of Stay Curious, over 525 episodes. Uh, I challenge a lot of podcasts out there to follow us, okay? But thank you all for wanting it to get bigger and better. We don't want to get necessarily bigger. We want to get better. Thank you all. So, Marty, as I always say, we will see you again tomorrow. I'm Mark Marquette, and can't wait to see you again tomorrow in our museum or on Stay Curious to what? Bridge the space between us.